I'm Tim Merton, a uh, professor and author of Statistics in Plain English. And in this lesson, we're going to see how you use a z-score to calculate a percentile score. Um, so there's a couple of important things to note. You can't use z-scores to calculate percentile scores unless a couple of conditions are met. One, uh, you have to know that you're dealing with a normal distribution. Uh, the percentile scores are based on the assumption of a normal distribution. So you can't use them if you don't know that you have a normal distribution. How do you know that you have a normal distribution? Well, you can assume that you do if you know the population standard deviation, which we do in this case, um, or if the problem tells you that the data are normally distributed. Those are the only conditions. If you don't know that it's a normal distribution, you can't use Appendix A to calculate um, percentile scores. But here, let's go through an example. Um, suppose we know that the average IQ score is 100 in the population. The average for the population is 100 and the standard deviation is 15. Now suppose that we want to know what's the probability of selecting an individual from the population who has an IQ, an IQ score of 115. And here's how we calculate it. First, with this data, and using this formula, we can calculate a z-score. And here's how we do it. z equals the individual score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And that equals 1. So we have a z-score of 1. Now we can look at the values in Appendix A, and we can find what's the uh, proportion of the distribution that is above a z value of 1 and what's the proportion that's below a z value of 1. And using Appendix A we can find the proportion of the distribution that would be expected to be above a z-score of 1 in a normal distribution is 0.1587 and that tells us the, um, the percentile score of this raw score of 115. The percentile score is if we convert this proportion into a percentage, 15.87% of the population would be expected to score above a, a score of 115 or at least one standard deviation above the mean. And that means because the entire distribution is 100%, if you subtract this from 1, from 1.0, what you're left with is about 86%. So a score of 115 on the IQ test corresponds with a percentile score of about 86, so about the 86th percentile, which means about 86% of the distribution would have um, a z-score less than 1 or a score on the IQ test of 115 or less, and about 14% would be expected to have an IQ score of 115 or higher. And that's how you use um, the z-score formula to calculate a percentile score. And remember, this is only if you have a normal distribution. This is an example for a raw score that's above the mean. We'll figure out an example, or we'll take a look at an example for a raw score that's below the mean next. 